Vancouver's empty homes tax is designed to stop property speculators from buying additional homes and then leaving them vacant during the city's affordable housing crisis. But owners who do have tenants and who miss the February exemption deadline have one not so small problem. They have to pay a fine for missing that deadline while also trying to prove that their homes aren't empty. Some are fighting that fine, telling the city to get real. 60-year-old Carolina Abramovich of Richmond is one of 5,000 Vancouver property owners who missed the city's exemption deadline. She was out of the country for four months and returned February 4th, deadline day, to what she calls a catch-22. A completely bureaucracy nightmare. I'm originally from Argentina. I live in a banana country. I didn't think that Canada would be the same. Because Abramovich missed the February filing deadline, the city assumed the downtown Vancouver condo she owns was vacant and sent her a tax bill for $3,400. But Abramovich has had tenants for the past 11 years. The city is allowing property owners to file a late declaration to claim an exemption from the empty homes tax. But first, property owners have to pay a bylaw fine for missing the first deadline or launch a dispute process. The fine is only $125, doubling to $250 after the end of March. But Abramovich has refused to pay, she says, on a point of principle. She doesn't think there should be a fine as well as a tax. They are kind of playing the chicken and the egg. I want to tell you that my condo is not empty and I need to declare it. And they say, no, we don't want to hear from you because you need to pay the fine. There is an issue to me of bullying the little person the city of Vancouver says over 300 other property owners have disputed the missed deadline fine. Verdicts in their case have just been mailed out. But given the complaints, the city's director of financial services indicates the late filing penalty will be reviewed, stating, we will be considering the effectiveness of the bylaw fine and all the feedback we received before we propose changes for next year. Shortly after CBC News contacted City Hall, Abramovich got a call saying her file has been reopened. She's been able to file for an exemption from the empty homes tax without having to pay her fine. A small victory. Eric Rankin, CBC News, Vancouver.